Welcome to this video. Um, today I'm going to show you how to record your slides directly in PowerPoint and export them as a video. As well as this, we're going to show you how to upload the video to Canvas Studio, add captions and then add the video to a course area in Canvas. Um, we're also going to show you how to get a shareable link of the video if you want to share that in anything external to Canvas such as an email or in Microsoft Teams as well as to copy the embed code and add this to Vital to add the video from Canvas into Vital if you're still teaching in Vital. Okay, so to start, open PowerPoint with the slides that you want to record. Then rather than start in the slideshow from the beginning, you're gonna select Record Slideshow. It will ask you to select what you want to record, so slide animations and timings, as well as narrations, ink and laser pointers. So click on start recording. It will open um, PowerPoint presenter view for you and you'll see in the top left hand corner that there is a timer started to indicate the recording. If you want to pause this at any moment to refer to notes or anything like that, you can click on pause. It will give you an indication that the recording is paused and you can resume this when you're ready. Um, to navigate through the slides, you can click on the next button in the top left hand corner. You've got the buttons as usual with presenting with PowerPoint in the left hand corner. Um, or you can just click on the slide to navigate to the next slide. When you've finished going through all of the slides, um, you'll see the usual end slideshow and the recording will finish. If you want to record, end the recording sooner, just right click and click on end show. Once you've done this, you'll see that there's um, audio being added to each of the slides that you've recorded on, um, as well as if you've used any ink, ink um, or drawing over the slides during the recording. From here, you're going to export as a video. So we need to go to file and save as. And we're going to change the save as type from PowerPoint to MPEG4 video. Click on save. And you'll see at the bottom here that it's now creating the video file. Um, depending on how long the video is, will determine how long it takes for it to export. Um, but just wait for this to fully export before we can move on to the next step. So once that's finished exporting, um, you'll then see the file uh, on your desktop or wherever you've saved that to. We're now going to go to Canvas and add this to our Canvas Studio. So once you've logged into Canvas, you'll see the dashboard. You select Studio on the left hand side. As you'll see, I've got a few um, videos and recordings already uploaded here, but we're going to add a new one by clicking on Add in the top right hand corner. Uh, then we're going to browse our files and select workshop slides from the desktop, which is where we exported to, and click open. Once the video is uploaded, um, you'll see a thumbnail for the video and you'll have the ability to click on view to play through and check the video is how you expected. Underneath the video, uh, you've got four tabs. Um, one is the details where you can change the uh, title and description of the video. Um, you've got any comments that would be left, insights to see how many views you've had on the videos, but also we've got the captions button. It's the fourth one along is where we'll be able to add any captions we want to our video. If you've got captions, um, written already. For example, if you've been reading from a script as you go through your PowerPoint, you might already have these captions available. If so, you can upload these uh, in the chosen language. Um, but more commonly, you can request captions directly from Canvas Studio, uh, which are auto-generated captions. To do this, you can select which language you wish to add, and you can add multiple languages from the list. Uh, for now, we're just going to add English. So select English and click on request. Again, depending on the length of the video, determine the, the time it takes to request these. Um, and it can 
take a little bit of time, but this will be queued and will process in the background if there's anything else you want to get on with while you're waiting. Once the captions have been generated from Canvas, you'll see a review and publish button. If you click on this, it will open up um, editable captions. So as you can see, um, it's also generated the captions with a timestamp next to them. Um, if you click on the timestamp, it will take you to that point of the video to show you what the caption relates to. Um, you can edit the captions if you want to go through and make any changes to these. Um, so if, it's, if there's any words that need changing, you can just go in and edit the text um, in these. And once you're ready and happy with the captions, click on publish. You'll now see that the English captions are marked as published. And if we go back and reload the video in Canvas Studio, you'll now see there's a closed captions button on the video where your viewers can click on this and select the captions in the language um, that's available for them to view. Uh, if we select English and press play, you will see the captions appear at the top of the video. Okay, so now we've got our video uploaded and our captions added, uh, we're going to add the video to our, one of our course areas. So if you go to courses and select the course that you want to add this to, um, I'm just going to add it to um, this page here. So select the page. I've already got one video added in here, but if you click on edit, scroll down to the part of the page that we want to upload this so let's get rid of this one and you select this icon at the end which is apps and click on canvas studio this will open all the videos available to you within canvas studio or in your canvas studio and you can select the one that you wish to add this is the one that we recorded earlier and click embed after a couple of seconds, you'll see that this has been embedded as well as the detail and the comments um, that we viewed directly in Canvas Studio um, and the player and the closed caption icon there as well. Um, so if we're happy with this page, we'll just click save. And you'll see the video embedded in there with the player and we can play this, select captions uh, and that will be the same for your student view as well. So if you're not using Canvas Studio yet um, or you just want to share this video with um, your students or your team uh, in email or maybe paste this into something like Microsoft Teams, um, you can also get a shareable link as well. So if we go back to the Canvas Studio and find the video, if we click on the three dots next to the video, there's a, an option for share media. Once you click on this, it will offer you the option to create a public link. So anything that you upload will be um, private to start with and locked down inside Canvas. But if you click on the create public link, you'll see it generates a direct link to the video, um, as well as it gives you the option for an embed code, which we'll come on to in a second. But if you double click on the link, you can right click, copy this link and then add this to an email or paste the link directly into Microsoft Teams or into Teams chats, conversations, or you'll be able to add this link as a um, web page on a tab within a channel as well. Um, if you're still delivering your teaching through Vital at the moment, you might want to add your video to your Vital module. Um, again, you can do this with a link in Vital, which when the students click on it will take them out of uh, vital and open a new page with the link um, but you can also um, embed it directly in vital by selecting and copying the embed code um, if you go to vital to the page that you want to add it um, create a new item give this a title of canvas studio embed and click on the HTML code view. This will open a new uh, window where you can right click and paste that embed code in and click update. 
you'll now see in your item editor um, a box where that video will be embedded if we click on submit it will now show you the embedded video from canvas directly in vital again with the closed captions and the uh, play and navigation bar as well so thanks for watching hope this is helpful um, if you've got any other questions about uh, creating video content or captions or anything else related to this then please email digitaled at liverpool.ac.uk and we'll do what we can to help